Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and I am a collector and hoarder of makeup and to continue to collect and hoard makeup, I promised my fiance that I would film and create content and here we are. So today I am going to be giving my first impressions on the Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels Collection. And I'm gonna go through all the lippies and the palette and the lip mask. So if that sounds interesting to you and you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Before I start on the eyes, I wanna go ahead and apply the So Jelly Lip Mask. So it's just a little lip mask. I'm assuming it's for like overnight, but I wanna go ahead and try it out while I do my eye makeup. So it's in a little component like this. I really like the hot pink. The only thing I have a problem with this collection is like it's the end of the summer. Like it's barely, like I've already started buying Halloween stuff. I mean, look, I've already dyed my hair for the fall. Like. I understand that I guess like some people will think August it's still summer. Mike, it summer's over. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but summer is over. So it does smell like strawberries. It has a really nice like jelly texture. It's not as thick as like the milk makeup one or the lawless like pump plumping one. I completely forgot what it's called, but that's like a thicker one as well. So this mask does retail for $22. I'll tell you what, it does not taste like strawberries. It tastes like petroleum jelly. Mm. Mm. Smells good, tastes horrible. So let's go ahead and just dive right into this palette. I did not get the palette that came out for Mother's Day. It just wasn't my vibe and it was kind of like, I don't know, it was a lot of muted tones. Like, I look at it, and I'm like, I kind of like it, but at the time, I didn't really need it, nor did I have the desire to buy it, so I never picked it up. But this one, I mean, this one kind of caught my eye because even though it's, like, kind of summery, this got these darker colors here that would be really nice for the fall. And, I don't know, this one called my name. It's smaller, so it's easier to store. So I went ahead and picked it up. It does not smell like strawberries. At least I don't think it smells like strawberries. So in this palette, you got 10 shades. You got eight mattes, one shimmer, and one metallic. And out of all those shades, only one of the shades is gonna be a pressed pigment, which I think is kind of rare these days because most of the time, like half the palette is a pressed pigment. So I'm kind of interested to see how this goes because it's actual eyeshadow. So the only shade in here that is the pressed pigment is this matte soft pink, which is the shade Day Date. So just a heads up, it will stain your eyes. All right, I'm gonna zoom you in and we can go ahead and get started. So as per usual, I went ahead and primed my eyes with Suvia Beauty's Prime and Paint Eye Primer. This is like a white eye base. Still haven't ordered more and I really need to. But one other thing I wanted to mention about this palette and I just noticed, it does not have a mirror, which is strange um, because like nowadays, like every palette has a mirror, but maybe that's why it's only $34 because the lack of mirror, I don't know. I feel like this would be one I take to travel other, like, I don't know, the smaller palettes I tend to travel with, so I'm surprised it doesn't have a mirror. I wanna go ahead and start with the shade All The Feels, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that in, in my crease, is where I think I'm gonna start this, after I find a more realistic mirror to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the shade All The Feels in my crease, which is kind of a more deeper tone, but I wanna see how this lays out. I think I'm gonna actually, uh, carry it all the way over my crease, and then I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to blend it all the way out. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that out. So today, I feel like it's been so hectic because we actually did meet the teacher for Emmett. So Emmett starts kindergarten next week and he does already go to a preschool program, but I think the size of going to an elementary school that goes up to a larger grade Kind of made him a little anxious, but he's a little excited, a little anxious. And I was a little anxious about it as well, but it's kind of exciting to see that he's gonna start kindergarten and he's no longer a little baby. I know, I also feel like the district that we live in is a little late starting kindergarten. Like everyone else's kids went back to school already and I'm like, damn, we really don't start till the 22nd? Like, holy shit. I 
really like how this blended out. I kind of want to take it a little bit more in my outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with that same fluffy brush. I'm just going to like pack it on right here and then kind of swoop it out. So this is the shape I'm going to go ahead and work with today. And I did do something a little odd, I guess. And I did take that darker shade all the way to my inner corner. Just because I kind of like how that looks. But that is the shade. All the feels blended out. I really, really like that. Like, it blended really nicely. It's kind of almost, like, it's a little bit more effort than some of my other shadows. But I really do like that. I'm going to go ahead and use a densely packed brush and use the shade Day Date, which is that one pressed pigment, and I'm gonna use it to soften the edges of the shade, all the feels. And holy cow, I can hear Keegan getting home, and he is so loud when he talks. I can hear him, and there's like a window, and the car pulls in the driveway, and he wants to get out of the car. That's how loud he talks. I can hear it, and I'm like, the window's closed and everything. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but I sure the hell heard it. Is anyone else's spouse like super loud when they talk and then don't recognize that they're super loud when they talk? You have to let me know because I feel like it's just me, but I could be wrong. Okay, so that is a little bit more pink than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm, I'm still liking the way it's coming out. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna dip into the shade Fresh Picked, which is going to be like this red metallic shade right here. And just kind of put it towards my outer corner and up to my crease. I wanna go ahead and take the shade Sugar Coated. I'm gonna use my finger as well. And this is the other like shimmery shade in here. And I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and take a small detailing brush and kind of blend those two shades together. Starting with Fresh Picked. That way there's not this harsh line. And just kind of blend them together and then also have a really nice clean line at the crease. Oh, I really like this sugar coat shade. It just really brightens your eyes up. I really want to deepen out my outer corner because I'm not enjoying like how it's looking right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Berry Whipped and I'm going to use that shade and just deepen out that outer corner and blending it into that shimmer shade I just used. That's what we needed. I'm kind of just pressing it in. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush right here and I'm gonna kind of use that to buff out just because I'm not a fan of that harsh line look. And honestly, I don't think any of us are. Yes, that berry whip color is fucking perfect for fall. It's like, and it's just going on so beautifully. Like, I'm just gonna deep pan and just like keep that shade on my desk. Like, holy cow. I'm in love. I'm also just like super ready for fall. My hair does not give it away. So this is what the base of the eye look is gonna go ahead and look like. I'm going to hop off camera, duplicate this on the other side, and add some liner, some lashes, and we'll be right back to finish up the under eye. And I'll see you in a second. All right, so we got lashes and everything done on the eyes except for the under eye, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and work on now. I'm gonna actually dip into the shade Berry Whip, that darker shade, because I am a fan of darker colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, oop, that is not the brush I wanna do it on. So I'm gonna take like an angled brush. So I'm taking that shade Berry Whip and I'm gonna be placing it under my eyes. I'm just kind of smoking it out. So the more and more I keep like catching glimpses of myself in the mirror, like the whole like eye look together, I really like this palette. Like, this is really nice. Like, I'm looking at how, like, blended everything looks together, and it just looks really fucking good. I'm very impressed. Holy shit. I'm going to also take the shade All the Feels and use that to finish out the under eyes. So just blending it in all together. I'm take a clean brush and just kind of make sure everything looks really nice. Gosh, I am like so happy with my eyes today. It's not even funny. 
So the last items in this collection are going to be lip products. So we've got lip liners and liquid lipsticks. And I'm already a fan of the Jaclyn Cosmetics, the liquid lipstick and liner products. So I will assume that I'm gonna like these, but we're still going to swatch and try one out. No, so like when I saw the shades of these, cause usually I've stopped getting in the habit of buying full collection of things. As I said that, but I bought the last full collection, like my last video was a full collection review. But when I saw the shades of these lipsticks and lip liners, I was like, but I want all three and I want the palette. Well, I might as well buy the whole collection at this point. And so I bought the whole collection because I am a very bold lip kind of person. I'm not the biggest fan of nudes. I mean, I love my pinks, my reds, my oranges, my vamps, like all of that. So the first shade we got is the shade Juicy. So I really like this pink packaging. I really wish this collection came out in like July or June. Ugh, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. So this is a very nice, like vibrant pink. Ooh, and it has a nice little strawberry smell. So there is the shade Juicy. And of course, the lip liner matches. The next shade is the shade Strawberry Cake. And this looks like an orange pink. Oh, it's a, like a really nice bright coral. So it's gonna be the bottom shade right here. And finally, the last shade is Sugared, which is an orange. They all smell like strawberry vanilla. Like, I really like that. Okay, so, and then there's the orange shade. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to use the shade Juicy, and then in the middle, I'm gonna use the shade, what was that? Strawberry Cake. Um, gotta take off this lip mask. And so far, like, this lip gut mask, it feels very moisturizing. It, like, sinks into the lips really nicely. I wanna try this when I'm sleeping because I wanna see if it gets all over the place, but, like, it's not like sticky or heavy on the lips. I don't know how to explain it. Cause my milk makeup one is kind of heavy, but I kind of like that feeling. But this one just like sinks into the lips and it feels like it's almost not there. So zoomed out, full face is done. And oh shit, it's not. Okay, highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this look off with a Jaclyn highlighter. Ooh, one of my kids put their fingers in here. It's so funny, I can tell that they've been in here because there's tiny little fingerprints inside this. Um, this is the putty primer. So you can see it, there's, like I don't know if you can see it, but there's two little indents right here of very small fingers. So I know exactly, I don't know exactly which one it is, but I know it was little hands. And my guess would be Harper, but it's okay. Now my full face is done. So I will, my first impressions on this entire collection is I really like this eyeshadow palette. I do want to see how it wears throughout the day. I am about to head out and go run some errands. So I'll see how it goes, especially with Texas heat. But I really like this palette. And the more and more I look at it, so yeah, it's a really pretty summer palette, but I am looking forward to using this in the winter. I'm excited for that. It's going to kind of skip the fall moment because to me, fall is spooky season. And that means like greens and purples and like just like those deeper colors, which I really enjoy doing. Obviously, my hair is purple and green right now, but I cannot wait to pick this up and use it in the winter time as well. And of course, I'll try it a few more times and give you my final thoughts, but I really like these liquid lipsticks. It's like the same formula as your other ones. So it's just if these colors work for you and these colors, I absolutely love. These are my go-to colors in the summertime, in the springtime. So <laughs> I'm really enjoying those. And the lip mask, the lip mask felt very moisturizing. Like my lips aren't dry at all. Like I enjoy it, but I kind of want to like test it overnight before I say if I really like it. But I mean the entire collection I got for $155. I completely think that I got my $155 worth with this collection. It, it is great. It's probably my favorite launch that she's ever done. Like I'm in love with this palette, even though it is very monotone. And I'm usually more of like colorful, bold looks, but this is gorgeous. So I know it's limited. So if it's still in stock, you should totally get your hands on it. And the lipsticks, the beautiful packaging and the strawberry scent and just the beautiful colors. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get back into things. I know last week I said I was gonna post twice in a row, and unfortunately, uh, my audio did not work for my second video, but that video will actually be up tomorrow. Fingers 
crossed, promise-ish, maybe. But go ahead and turn your notifications on and find out if I do post tomorrow. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching and until next time. Bye y'all. Let me use this flush, love flushy, a flushy. So, no, 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 no